Hi, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I normally use pens and brushes in my drawings. As you can see on the left side panel is where all your pens and brushes can be found. So click on the pen and you open up this window. On the settings page, you'll be able to modify your pen either using basic or advanced settings. So under basic, you'll be able to adjust the size and the opacity of your pen. And anytime you make any adjustments, you'll be able to see what your stroke will look like on the white area just under the pen. Now in advanced, you have much fancier settings for your pen. It's the same thing with the eraser, you have basic and advanced settings to play with. However, with this pencil, there is no basic or advanced settings and you're only allowed to adjust the size and the opacity of the pen. With the paintbrush, you have basic and advanced settings. In the library setting, you can see many different sets of paints and brushes as you scroll down. So you really like the shape brush set and want to set it as your main brush set, just click on the pin button and you can see on the left side it's all changed to shape brushes. So you want to change your main brush set to the fine art one, just click on any pen in it and then click on the pin button and see on the left side it's all changed to fine art pencils. But for most people like me, the basic set is more than enough to satisfy my drawing needs. A shortcut way to adjust the size and opacity of your pen is by toggling up and down the two gray scales that you can see on the right hand side. So in the background are two blurred out cartoon faces I've drawn earlier. I'm going to draw over them using different pens and brushes. I'm going to use the first pencil to draw the outline of the guy's face. The strokes look like what you see when you're drawing with an actual 2B pencil on a piece of paper. It looks really natural with its roughness.
Now we've finished the guy's face and moving on to the girl's face. With the girl, I'm going to use a different pencil to draw over the outlines to show you the difference between the first pencil and the second pencil. The strokes of this pencil is much much smoother and consistent compared to the first pencil. Now we've finished the outlines and moving on to coloring. So with the guy's head, I'm going to use this short brush for the hair color. Now I'm going to use the longer brush to go over the sides of the hair. So with the girl's hair, I'm going to use a different brush to paint over her hair, which is a much smoother brush. You can see that this brush looks very different from the ones that I used to paint the guy's hair. The color is very consistent, there's no variation in tones. This one looks more digital, while the ones I used for the guy's hair look rougher and more natural. Now I'm going to color in the skin for this guy using the same brushes I used to color his hair. Notice that I've created another layer for just doing skin colors so that it doesn't overlap with the hair colors. Now doing the skin color for the girl with the same brush I used for her hair. So 
So this is how your drawings will look depending on the type of brushes you use for coloring. Now I'm going to use a different brush which is the airbrush tool for shading. So I use this to create shadows and highlights on my drawing. You can use the same airbrush tool to create shadows and the highlights for the girl as well. So besides shadows and highlights, you can also add in blushes for the skin. You can also add red blushes to a guy's skin tone to make the skin look more real and there's proper blood flow under the skin. Now I'm going to do highlights and shadows of the hair on a separate layer. Now my drawings are complete. This is the usual way I use to draw my cartoons. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.